Hello everybody, it's Mr. Slope Guy here today to talk to you guys about using the slope formula. And let's talk a little bit about slope in its most basic form. Slope as a visual concept, if we're looking for the slope of this red line, we're looking for the tilt. Um, slope is sometimes referred to as a constant rate of change, constant of proportionality. Um, we have a unit rate, something that's changing over and over is the same. And this red line, we're comparing the rise, the amount of up or down, the amount of change on the y-axis, compared to the run, the change in left and right, which is on our x-axis. So slope in its most basic form is rise over run. Comparing the tilt of the line, how much are we going up and down, how much are we rising or changing on the y, compared to how we're changing on the x, the run. And this converts over to the slope formula. And so the formula is going to talk about the change in the y, which will be our y sub 2 minus y sub 1, over the change in the x, the x sub 2 minus the x sub 1. And you're going to want to pause the video and write this everything on the screen down so that if we're given two points, x sub 1, y sub 1, meaning x of a first point, y of a first point, and x sub 2, y sub 2, meaning x and y of a second point, we have the slope formula, and the slope formula is m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1, that's the change in the rise, over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, which is a change in the run. So we're still talking about slope being rise over run, we're just looking at it more numerically as to being able to calculate slope. So if we're given two points, like 0, negative 4, and negative 3, negative 6, we can substitute in these values into our formula. But I first want to identify a first point and a second point. And these are interchangeable as long as you're consistent and keep your x and y's together. Um, I'm going to label whatever point I come to first as the x sub 1 and the y sub 1. And whatever point I come to second, I would label as x sub 2 and y sub 2 then I just want to substitute those into the slope formula. And the slope formula will always have subtraction on the top, subtraction on the bottom as part of the formula. Then I'm going to replace these subscripts, these y sub 2, y sub 1, that are just fancy variables. There's no actual multiplication or they're not the same as like an exponent. They're just a fancy variable to denote you have an x and y of a first point and you have a second point with a second x and a second y. So when we substitute in, our y sub 2 is 6, negative 6, and our y sub 1 is negative 4. So on the top we have negative 6 minus negative 4, and then in the denominator I have the x sub 2 of negative 3 minus the x sub 1 of 0. Now it comes time for our integer rules. And remember with integer rules, subtracting is the same as adding the opposite. So negative six minus a negative four would be the same as negative six plus four. And negative six plus a positive four would give us negative two. Negative three minus zero is negative three. And then we can just reduce the fraction because I know a negative divided by negative is positive. So we just reduce this to two thirds. All right, so that's example number one. Let's take a fresh look at a new problem. Let's say that we have a line that goes through negative 3, 6, and it also passes through points 5, 2. So I always start these by labeling my x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2, just with every point I come to first. And I write those right above each number. So negative 3 will be the x sub 1. 6 will be the y sub 1. And x sub 2 of 5, y sub 2 of 2. Then back to my same formula. Remember the y's are always on top. If you get the y's on the bottom, it will never come out correctly. So make sure you get the y's on the top. That rise, the up or down part, y's are on the top, and x's are always on the bottom. So m equals, and we're going to substitute y sub 2 is 2, minus from the formula. Then y sub 1 is 6 over x sub 2 of 5 minus x sub 1 of negative 3. 
then I just have to work out my subtracting integers, 2 minus 6, or 2 plus negative 6 is negative 4. 5 minus negative 3 is the same as 5 plus 3, or 8. And negative 4 eighths will reduce to negative 1 half. And I can write that negative number, negative sign on the top, the bottom, or just in front of the fraction. Now, there are some special cases that have to do with slope. And you're going to want to pause the video here and write down both of these examples because these will get used a ton in graphing. You will see a lot of these in the future. So horizontal lines looks like the horizon when the sun comes up. It makes that line from left to right like that. And the slope is always zero. So this is a pure definition. There are not a lot of steps to show. There's not a lot of stuff to work out. You can look at every horizontal line and just know the slope is zero and not do a bunch of math to calculate it. It's just going to be zero. And the equation for every horizontal line is always y equals and a number. And in this case, no matter what my x value is, y stays negative 4. And if I'm ever calculating slope and I come up with zero for my answer, I know I have a horizontal line. If I graph it or not, I know that a slope of zero means the line is going to be horizontal. And a vertical line is kind of like the opposite of horizontal. It goes straight up and down, and it has no slope. Or sometimes you'll see the word undefined. Undefined or no slope. And the equation is always x equals and then some number. Like in this case, if I go over to positive 4 on x and draw a straight up and down line, no matter what y value I pick, x will stay 4. So horizontal lines, the slope is 0. Vertical lines, it has undefined or no slope. The equation of every horizontal line is y equals a number, and the equation of every vertical line is x equals a number. All right, so let's try the slope formula again. We're given two points that go through a line, and this time we're given points 5, 4, and 5, 2. We can identify the x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. Put my little slope formula set up with subtraction on the top, subtraction on the bottom. Then I just have to go through and do a little substitution. Substitute in the y2, y1. <coughs> Excuse me, x2, x1. And on the top, 2 minus 4 is negative 2. And 5 minus 5 is 0. 0 in the denominator is undefined. So I have undefined or no slope, which tells me the line is vertical. All right, let's find the slope on this one. We have 5, 3, 7, 3. Substituting into the slope formula on the top, I have 3 minus 3. On the bottom, 7 minus 5. 3 minus 3 is 0, 7 minus 5 is 2, so 0 out of 2, if I put that in my calculator or I think about 0 out of 2 is just 0, and so what do we know about this line? Well, we know the slope is 0 and the line is horizontal. And if I went to the side and did a little graph with a couple of points, I put on 5, 3, I put on 7, 3, I could look at just a couple of points and notice right away that that's a horizontal line with the slope of zero. All right, pause the video here and you guys find the slope of a line that goes through points 3, 9 and 11, 2 and then start the video back and see how you did. Hi, welcome back everybody. Let's see, let's put this into the slope formula. We have 2 minus 9, we have 11 minus 3 and 2 minus 9 is negative 7. 11 minus 3 is 8, and our slope is negative 7 eighths. Hopefully everybody got that right. I hope you guys all have a great day. Good luck using the slope formula. I hope you find the slope formula useful for many years to come. Have a great day.